I'm John, I'm with Dreamstream. I'm here today with Michael Solomon. Michael is a veteran of the film distribution industry, the motion picture industry in general. Been doing it for several decades, been involved since your early work with United Artists. You started MCA's Latin American TV division. You co-founded the Telepictures Corporation, which obviously was landmark at its time. And you basically created TV syndication, as I understand it. And you developed it into what it is today. And you built Telepictures into the largest company for distribution in the United States, and one of the largest in the world. And then when Telepictures merged with Lorimar, you became the president of that corporation. It went on to be the largest TV production and distribution company in the world. After that, when it was acquired by Warner Brothers, you went on as president there of the International Division, and it became the largest TV program distribution company in the world, which is not a small feat. Currently, you are running Solomon Enterprises. You're also involved with New Medium Enterprises, and you are a partner with Dreamstream. We're going to take a look at syndication and what that means for online distribution specifically. Since the invention of the internet and the evolution of it since then, there's been great steps that have been taken toward online syndication and the distribution of content. It's really transformed the industry. So I guess just to start us off, from your perspective, how did licensing change when the internet really began to flourish in the mid-90s? Well, you mentioned the word syndication. Uh, internet is just another means of syndication. Right. Uh, because uh, it just, uh, I mean, syndication, when I started, and my team at uh, Telepicture started syndication in the United States, uh, we were syndicating programs to uh, independent television stations all over the country. Um, and we were very successful. We created uh, programs like People's Court, which uh, started the uh, court shows. Uh, it's been on the air for 30 years uh, already, um, and uh, many other uh, uh, many other programs. Uh, but my sales team used to travel throughout uh, the United States, knocking on doors of these independent stations and selling them, uh, selling them programs. <clears throat> what has changed essentially is uh, technology has allowed me to move from uh, from the television stations to the internet. Uh, but essentially, what I'm doing is syndicating programming, uh, but instead of syndicating them to television stations, I'm syndicating them uh, on the internet. Uh, everybody knows uh, the expression, content is king. Right. Uh, but I added to that, that distribution is emperor. And uh, if you don't have good distribution, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, content you have, you're not going to make any money. At the end of the day, uh, as you know, economics runs our world, and uh, people are in business to make money. Uh, but if you don't have uh, the uh, right distribution of your content, you're not going to make any money. Right. So with the rise of the internet, especially for smaller markets, <clears throat> what are some of the hurdles that people are facing just as far as even getting to the point where distribution is a function of their enterprise? Well, the lack of technology. Uh, you know, uh, technology is great, but well, technology without content means nothing. Uh, content without uh, technology, as far as the internet is concerned, means nothing. So if you are a producer and you have great content and you have all kinds of ideas, program ideas, etc., how are you going to get it to the public? Right. And remember, the internet is worldwide, so you're not just talking about the U.S. market, you're talking about the worldwide market. So you have to have the ability to get your content out uh, throughout the world. Now, once it's out, and once you have the technology, and the technology is distributing it, at the end of the day, how are you going to make money? Are you going to make money through subscription? Uh, right. Are people going to pay for your service? Or are you uh, going to have uh, a system where uh, your revenue is supported just by advertising? Or is it a combination of the two? All of those um, mechanics have to be figured out. Uh, beforehand, and uh, I think there are very few people that have the intellectual capacity to figure out all of those hurdles. Right. It seems like with the internet, there's been a. It's really presented a great challenge because the internet allows for widespread, widespread distribution. It is the probably the most efficient and cost-effective way to distribute content, but there really isn't any services available as of yet, that really are able to produce the kind of returns that studios and content owners are looking for. The 
Last week, Disney announced that they distributed over 45 million videos and movies on iTunes, and their take back was only about $100 million, just over. So for them, I mean, a multi-billion dollar corporation, they're not even making much money through online distribution. But you have to remember that uh, the studios are just uh, uh, regurgitating the same content. Right. Uh, you have to remember that the studios have already distributed their product to uh, either motion picture screens, uh, cable television, pay cable television, uh, DVDs, etc. Uh, people have already seen most of their product. Right. So what's the big deal of seeing their product again? I mean, I think the business is, uh, is creating original programming. Uh, look at HBO and the success that HBO had with original programming, with Sex and the City and The Sopranos, etc. Right. Uh, that's really the key. The key is original programming. The key is providing the world with programming that nobody else has provided them for. Uh, all the studios and all of these iTunes uh, making deals with the studios and, and uh, each, uh, now you have this uh, Hulu, uh, which right. is uh, a... Uh, an association between uh, News Corp and NBC Universal, uh, and they're signing up studios, etc. They're just regurgitating the same product, right. and so they're never really going to make a lot of money uh, with their programming. I mean, uh, you want to see uh, the next day a Desperate Housewives episode? Well, if you're really a fan of Desperate Housewives, you're going to see the original. Right. You're going to see it when it when it appears. Why are you going to? Uh, take a look at it afterwards. I mean, American Idol, which is one of my favorite programs, I want to see it the day that it appears yeah. because the next day I'm going to know who won and who was kicked off. The same thing with Dancing in the Stars. So sure. what's the big deal? So uh, I think that if you're going to make, if, if you want to be successful in this business, you have to uh, create or, or do business with original programming. And that's what I've been able to do and, uh, and uh, do it uh, pretty successfully.